Hi folks, a wee Davy shot. Watching the Yestival on YouTube, well, uh, on Independence Live, actually, me listening to it and scrolling through the news. And last week was a big week on Tory Slees. And they've actually went to the bottom of the barrel to try and divert the attention from it. And this is a processing. Um, asylum seekers in other countries and gulags if you like in other countries let's get this straight that's illegal Dominic Raab actually appeared on the television to divert her attention uh, with, for the xenophobes doing there in England the nut jobs um, to say that they were thinking about processing them in Albania now, the Albanian ambassador to the UK wasn't it long in putting people straight on that? But what we're seeing here is the UK government trying to wriggle out of its um, responsibilities under international treaties when it comes to the right of the, uh, to seek asylum. The UK government has signed up to the UN Charter on asylum and the right to seek asylum. And what those idiots doing that road are doing are getting to the bottom of the barrel when it comes to diverting away from the fact that Brexit is a bloody disaster. Cost of living's going up. Interest rates are about to rise. It's £1.50 at the pumps for a litre of petrol. Um, we've got food price inflation, which is outstripping a wage inflation, which is actually artificial as we reopen up and eh, the fact that all our European friends have left because of Brexit, so we have a shortage of workers right across the spectrum. And eh, um, when your skills are in demand, you get to demand more for your skills. But still, the cost of living is outstripping our abilities to demand more for our skills. There's no Lamborghinis for truck drivers and car parks like the memes on the internet. But this carry on with the Home Office and Pretty Patel and Gulags and a uh, ferries, disused ferries out at sea as processing centres or sticking them in remote Scottish islands as processing centres or sending them to British over a uh, uh, seas territories um, as processing centres. It's all diversion for the fact that Brexit's a fucking disaster and that we're all seeing our living standards plummet with the cost of living rising beyond their wages because some idiots in London wanted to protect the spider's web of tax havens and the, the elite, the 1% to protect their wealth. You know, since Brexit vote in 2016 and the pandemic, the 1% have risen in wealth. They have doubled their wealth while we get poorer and our families go to food banks. When are we going to get out for fucking knees? The North England's just been fecked over by the cousins in the South who are accumulating the wealth and sticking it in offshore bank accounts, taking it, drawing it out the economy and eh, making us all poorer. Tax dodging. We've even got a, an authoritarian government that's drawn all the power into the cabinet. They've even usurped the power of the Crown. No, the Crown had that much power anyway. But it's... When are people in that place doing that road called England going to wake the feck up? When are they going to get off their knees and stone up? Wow. They'll get shite pumped into the rivers where they get their drinking water. Their utilities are owned privately especially the water. We have the same problem here, except for the water. People can't afford to heat or eat. And yet the 1%, they've doubled their wealth since 2016. The tax havens in the spider's web are burgeoning. The city of London is just one big laundromat for dirty Russian money. Dirty Russian money is actually financing the Tory party. And I can see all these things with impunity because it's all true. There's nobody going to come and sue my arse. Facebook's not going to shut Davy down. 
Davey's not telling any fucking lies. But I thought I'd pop on the day and tell you we're all, we're all being gaslighted with this immigration push. We're being gaslighted. Same way the North of England's being gaslighted with their 96 billion quid new transport network. We're a load of piss. Gaslighted is the word there. We're being gaslighted. The BBC's gaslighting us. ITV's gaslighting us. The very worst one in Scotland's STV. They're gaslighting the fuck out of us. You know, I mean, the First Minister said Campbell shouldn't open up and all of a sudden she was going to shut down the hole with the oil and gas industry when she's actually been talking about a, a just transition. We have been fucking gaslighted. The people of England have been fucking gaslighted. The elite are running out of excuses. So they're pointing to the lowest common denominator. And I mean the lowest common denominator. The racists and the bigots. The Herald yesterday, the greatest terrorist risk in Scotland is far right bigots. You know, the old and people like that. Down that road, the greatest risk is immigrants. We're all being fucking gaslighted. The actual greatest risk is that shower of crap and the House of Thieves and fat, eh, carpet baggers down that road in Westminster who have managed to kill 220 odd thousand of your fucking citizens with universal credit alone. Throw in! the COVID pandemic, and we have a fucking genocide that's been on in the last 10 years, and we're all being gaslighted. Turn the fucking telly off and start paying attention. A wee day we rant for a Saturday, because this person the mainstream media is damn mad to us. We're being gaslighted. 70 immigrants a day coming out of the bloody, coming out of that channel, isn't he a lot of people? Ah. And the immigrants that the English people didn't like, you know, the Polish plumbers, and the Romanian lorry drivers, the Lithuanian lorry drivers, all the people that we relied on to work in our economy are all gone. Or to protect the 1% stuffing their bank accounts and offshore tax havens because the elite here think they're above the law and don't want to pay their fucking taxes People are starving to death. When are people going to get off their fucking knees? Unbelievable. But I had to tell you that you've been gaslighted today. This is the reversing for the, the sleaze that's um, engulfing Westminster. And it's not just the Tories. It runs right across the political parties. Right across them. This isn't a democracy. Yeah? And Labour and Tory, they're two cheeks of the one arse, and they're owned by the state. This isn't a democracy at all. And it's time we the Scots were out here. But that's another story for another day. I just thought I'd tell you if you're being gaslighted like fuck today. Davy's angry. Davy's very angry at the crap that's coming out today. They can't process these people in other places other than British territories. The Albanian ambassador was right to tell Rab he was talking pish that they would never breach international law like that. People are being treated like fucking idiots. We've all got search engines. When this pish is in the media, we can go and find out that it's illegal. For the UK to ask other countries to process bloody AMA asylum seekers in their countries in gulags. Not possible, not legal. It would be a breach of their human rights. It would be a breach of the contract and the agreement, the international treaty that the UK has signed on the rights of asylum seekers. You're being gaslighted. Anyway, have a nice day. Share this around. It's about time people knew the truth was out there. We've all got search engines. We can look at the UN Charter on the Rights of Asylum Seekers. Wow. Have a nice day.